Huck's journey along the river and the stories he tells about the family are all part of his search for the perfect home, but he finds the entire family system so flawed that he gives up and heads west at the end of the novel. Mark Twain relates himself to Huck's fatherless life as he lost his father at age 12. Huck's search for the perfect family ends in his realization that he already has a perfect family and his friends. Huck recognizes the unmatchable strength of the bonds he and his friends share. He then replaces his missing family with his friends. Through Huck's quest for a father figure, he comes to the conclusion that he wants to be better than his father. This can be seen in most father-son conflicts, as the son is always trying to be better than his father. Arise, Sir Austin Powers. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your father must be very proud of you. Oh, yeah. Come on, Dad, stand up and take a bow. Daddy. Daddy Daddy wasn't there Daddy Turn up and take a bow, Daddy Daddy wasn't there To take me to the fair It seems he doesn't care When I was first baptized, when I was criticized, when I was ostracized, when I was jazzercised, stacking kidney pies, when I was modernized, when I was circumcised, Daddy wasn't there. We were mates, you and I. I needed a father. I suppose we'd better go our separate ways. Fine. When I was first baptized, when I was criticized, when I was ostracized, when I was jazzercised, stacking kidney pies, when I was modernized, when I was circumcised, Daddy wasn't there to take me to the fair, to change my underwear. Daddy wasn't there. Daddy wasn't there, peace. One, two, three, four. Here's a daddy tissue. <laughs> Due to Huck's lack of a father in his life, Jim is the closest thing Huck has to a father. As a result of being raised by an ignorant father, Huck's ideals are tainted, as seen by his tendency to confuse stealing with borrowing. As the old saying goes that apples don't fall far from the tree, sons reflect their father's actions and values because of the examples they were raised with. During his adventures on the Mississippi River, Huck encounters many family situations, including the Grangerfords. Huck comes to idolize the Grangerford family as it is the only true family in the novel. Huck comes to idolize Colonel Grangerford because he's the only true father in the novel. But that one mistake was going to change my life forever. <laughs> Going somewhere? Maybe I am and maybe I ain't. Don't you give me none of your lip! anybody up just yet but you move and I'll wear you good well, looks like you put on considerable many frills since I've been away I hear you can read and write I told you to meddle in such high and foolishness anyhow the widow told me I'll wear you good for meddling in something like that pretty soon you'll be taking up religion like your ma did 
You leave Ma out of this. She's dead. You better... Don't you sass me or you'll be joining her. Well, ain't you the sweet-scented dandy? With your polished clothes and your nice bed. I never seen such a son as you. Well, I'm not gonna stand for it. You're coming with me! Was in trouble, and it were only gonna get worse once Pap started drinking. I was up the river with some acquaintances of mine, and we were doing some jobs, and I got the news. So when I found out your ma left you six hundred dollars, I figured I'd come and get my due. I mean, don't I deserve it? After all the trouble and the expense I went through to raise you proper? <clears throat> but no. <laughs> Judge Thatcher says that money's got to stay in the bank till you get yourself to legal age. Legal age. I can't be waiting that long! What did I do with that bottle? What are you doing with my gun? Uh, I thought I heard somebody trying to break in, and, and I was waiting for him, Pat. Well, why didn't you roust me? I tried, but I couldn't. Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? You brought me here, Pat. Did I? Why? Because you said you missed me so. Don't you lie to me. That couldn't be the reason. 
Oh, yeah. That money your ma left you, damn Judge Thatcher. Have to think of another way. Look at this place. What'd you do to my house? I didn't do anything, Pat. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to town. You clean up around here. Jack Stewart. Brian Gall. Dan Gold. Adam Weinel.